right, everybody, it's Hitman from BlackOpsFishing.com. I'm going down to do some striper fishing. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I made this light bar rig. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see the action. And I rigged up a Dunkin' Donuts drink cup on top of where my camera sits as a little umbrella. So we'll have volume. I didn't want to put it in the housing. It's not pouring out. So. So we're going to have lights, action, and camera. Perfect. Striper action, camera, and lights. So uh, just a brief, I'm going striper fishing, and uh, the ones I'm going for, they actually, they come from local stripers here. I mean, stripers are migratory, so I'm going to start all over again. So the stripers I'm going for come right out of Ocean X. And... A lot of them run up one of our main rivers, River X. And from there, some of them go up tributaries, like the one I'm going to this evening called Tributary X. Now, the reason they're doing this is they're following the bait. Stripers follow the bait. So every springtime, a lot of bait moves out of Ocean X, goes up River X, and up some of the tributaries. And some of this bait it consists of blueback herring and alewives which is like striper candy so I'm going to tributary X and hopefully we'll have some action hopefully there's some bait there and where there's bait there's usually stripers um, it's a tidal thing so the tide has to be good but it's also an evening thing so dusk is good so you know we're gonna we're bound to hit dusk but we might not get the tide just right so we got a little bit of a chance to get one well the tide's low too low kind of wanted out going but didn't want it to be gone very hard to judge in the rivers well let's see what we're gonna do whoa bird Jeez, almost went right for the trees in my first cast. Let me get, get comfy here. There we go. Woo! Okay, hit me. Calm down. I know you're excited. I am too. A lot of hype on that cast. Whoa! That was a huge fish right there. Right behind me. Ooh, crazy. Oh my God. Holy crap. They're here, I guess. Oh my God. Came right up in here. They're here. Hurry up. Let's get one. Stay out of that shell. So my tide's going out like I want, but I think it's way too out. <laughs> I don't see signs of anything. Very little water. Wait and see. Last time I was here, there was so many bait fish following my lure. 
hanging around in here. Let's do it. Story of my night. No bait. It's the time. Now what can I do? Go catfishing. Yeah. The run is still present, there's just nothing going on right now. I know for a fact there's some fish that stay upstream above that ripple you can see up there. In a, in a no fishing area where they get the bait held up by the dam. They stay there. So, I'm sure every once in a while, a few can come through, but the big bulk of them aren't here right now, like I wanted. <laughs> Could have been epic. So this is a video, right? This is a video for YouTube. I catch nothing for YouTube. I'm going to keep trying. I got another battery. I almost wish the tide was even coming in or doing something different than this garbage. The persistent striper fisherman does not stop casting. He casts and casts and casts well after his last cast. I made my last cast a couple of times earlier. I'm still here. Let's see. Does the fisherman leave just because the fish aren't present? Probably should. There should be a big pot of bait following you in. They were here in recent days. That's why I'm staying. You never know. Stand for the sake of of YouTube. It's the American way. In the water way down there, the difference in the water. A lot of times. I don't know if that's it. That might just be a glisten from the I don't know what. But a lot of times at the school of bait, I've watched bait come up in droves. And that's what a drove would look like. But it would come closer. Change its shape. Huh. So I watched that. There it's gone. 
just like bait. Just like bait. Come on. Oh, oh, that's the bottom. Oh no. Crap. Oh, hard to get out. Get back a lure from down here. You ain't gonna get it back. That stuff went away. Huh. Wonder if that was bait. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna have to go up. Oh. Oh, I had one. Oh, you guys, I had one. Did he take my shit? Nice. I guess I'm gonna get one, maybe. Damn. Sweet. Oh, wow. Huh. I'm not gonna quit. Dang, he messed up this head. Fix it. I had one. Oh, balls. Come on. There's still shit here. Come on. Let me get this. So close to getting it. Thought I got somewhere a couple times here. Goes right in right there. It ain't coming out. And you're gonna hear some big splashes and shit your pants. I'm gonna AP this rod. I'm gonna AP this rod. I'm gonna AP this rod. Okay, one more shot. I missed my opportunities today. I'll be back tomorrow. Once I get one today, which might happen. Still might come back. I would have had two rods with me. That would have did the trick. Probably kept me on those fish. It takes me probably 10 minutes round trip to go to the car. There you Come on. Give me a hit, man. That last plunk that kept me here was a big one. Right under the bridge, right near me. Last cast. Holy moly. You hit it hard, man. Oh, what? I knew that was going to happen. 
this jumped over there. Come on. That's what happens. Gee! Was there a big splash at the same time? I think there was. Splash down there. Some splashes. There's one. Got him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let's try to keep that. I lost him. No. God. <laughs> Good one, too. Ah. Thank God. I tried so hard. Got my camera light. Looks like, oh, it's a big keeper, too. Nice. It's definitely a keeper. Nice. Oh, yeah. Huge success. <laughs> I went through a lot. I missed him a couple of times and I stayed and I kept staying. <clears throat> Even with bronchitis. I mean, 